Hey, I'm Nate, and we're here today with another look at Windows 10. Today we're going to check out the Start menu, which is arguably the biggest deal about Microsoft's upcoming operating system. When you click the Start button, you'll see two things. The classic column of recently used apps and things you've pinned, and animated live tiles. It's sort of a mishmash between the traditional Start menu and the Start screen Microsoft introduced with Windows 8. You're getting the best of both worlds here. The Start menu behaves just like older versions of Windows, with all of your programs listed in a neat little column. You can pin your favorite apps and folders and arrange things about as you'd like. Just over to the right, you'll find the live tiles. These animated squares will be familiar to anyone who has used Windows 8. These tiles can serve up useful information like status updates and notifications, and can be resized or rearranged however you like. You can also resize the entire start menu, making it tall and narrow or short and wide. If you don't like live tiles, just unpin them from your start menu to get the simple list of apps you're familiar with. And if you prefer the Windows 8 full screen treatment, you can right click on the start bar to switch entirely. Microsoft has promised that later builds of Windows 10 will allow you to switch between the full screen start menu and the new start menu on the fly, which will be really useful for two-in-one machines like, say, the Surface Pro 3 that can detach from a keyboard dock. So that's been a quick look at the Windows 10 start menu. I'm Nate. Thanks for watching.